As we go on iron computers, this uh, this is the the next experiment. Just want to fill you in what happened on the last one, and I want to say thanks to uh, uh, DSI Ventures for donating their uh, their professional uh, computer optical fluids. This was actually came from America. Um, this is the stuff you want to use. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, the results. Uh, for the Asus Rampage 3 uh, motherboard with the i7, there's a 990 clock that just over four and a half, and a 286 990s with a higher clock setting. Um, experiment using the oils. Uh, basically, um, as one of the benchmarks of Crisis 2 on max settings um, with iFinity 332 inch 1080s. Um, basically, uh, your temps will run out at about 65, 70 degrees. But when you use the um, Furmark uh, multiple graphics um, stress testing software, she started to go up to about 90 degrees C. That's the graphics. Uh, also, uh, Prime 95, the CPU clocked at like just over four and a half. That was that was starting to creep up. Uh, slowly, eventually getting to about 90 degrees. Uh, didn't have any problems with the components because they're they're built for to be stressed. But you can get just the same results with today's um, air cooling equipment. All right. Um, except that when this rig, when the the other rig was running, it was almost silent. Uh, but anyway, so gonna have a few changes now. Gonna be. Uh, doing the tests with this motherboard on a new design it's going to be going into a, um, a frame this board's going to be in sitting in oil but the pipe work is going to be carrying water at sub-zero temperatures um, so basically like I say this uh, this motherboard is going to be submerged in a tank but it's not going to look like a fish tank it's going to look tidy um, pipe work's going to be using water because water is much much better at taking the heat away even with these fantastic EK, uh, well, on the last rig now, the, the i7-990, uh, even with EKs fantastically built, because um, their heat exchangers are brilliant. Um, uh, you know, water takes a lot more heat away than the oil, right? The oil now just cannot, even with a, quite a high pump pressure, the oil couldn't take the parcels of heat away with, compared to water. So anyhow, so what I decided to do was going to use water um, with antifreeze in it and going to submerse this um, motherboard in oil, cool the water eventually to sub-zero temperatures, uh, using the oil then as, as an insulator to stop um, any condensation buildup, you know. Um, and also it will help to dissipate and, and keep the stabiliser temperatures of all the other components on the board as well, like, you know what I'm saying? But there's, there's a lot of work to be done. But anyhow, I'm gonna be, I've checked out with EVGA if the um, HD6990s uh, will run on the board as well as uh, EVGA's uh, GTX 580s. And they said that, uh, yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. And uh, probably gonna use the experiment by using the CUDA cores from the um, the Intel cards, and then using the beasts in for some, uh, you know, pure graphics. Probably going to be using um, four core processors rather than the six. Um, and all we've got in here then, right, is the Dominator GTs on just 12 gigs. So it's going to be a nice, uh, it's going to be a nice setup. Like, there's a lot of work to do before then. So the frame's going to have, uh, this is going to be sitting in the top, uh, in a tank, at this attitude as well. So she's not going to be um, upright, she's going to be sitting at this attitude. And um, in the bottom end, I'm going to be making a frame, we're going to be having like a car, big car radiators, keep it simple, rather than having loads of small little radiators, just going to go for a car rad. Starting off just working with ambient temperatures, and then eventually going over to um, 
sub-zero using uh, air conditioning um, uh, an air conditioner added to the system so that I can get the temperatures down and see what happens but uh, just thought I'd show you this this SR2 now when it's done up with the uh, nickel plexi right uh, it's nice gear I'll say I've put these EK um, EK blocks onto some uh, originally they were uh, VTX Radian HD 6990s I've kept the the air cooling equipment as well so if I want to just quickly whip these back on again if I'm testing a uh, you know one of the computers I work on I can just bang this back on like you know what I'm saying uh, somebody wanted to know also um, where I had the cold cathodes from I'll show you now what company I had them from it was um, Wiltec right oh Wiltec I think it's um, where is it? Shop will tech info, and then just type in cold cathodes, right? And they've got they've got what you want. Like they've got the cold cathodes here, and you just have to mod them up a little bit and do whatever you want to do with them. But that's that's the company, yeah. So anyhow, going back to the oil now. If you're going to use oil, right, you're going to be getting similar readings to. Um, you're going to get similar readings to uh, air, right? So, okay, catch you again.